ST01, we discussed that is for the system trace. So then ST02, we discussed about the, the buffers, tune, swaps, it ratio, all those things we checked in the ST02, right? This is called the tune summary. So anytime system is very slow, slowness or it's taking time and everything. So taking time to execute the transactions and everything means so they maybe you need to check the one side tune summary the buffer swaps anything you need to check it out in the st02 transaction code here that is called the tune summary that is called the tune summary. we can check it out here st02 so here you can see one one we are getting the swaps for one buffer which means here the free space is the less free kb less free kb here that's why we are getting this one here. So, but this is the total 3000 KB out of this already. So, already the free is the 71, 71 KB only here. So, which means it's nearly in the bytes. It's in the bytes. So, which means it's a very less space here. That's why whenever the overflow happens, then we may get the swaps here. So, per day, 10,000 swaps are allowed per day. 10,000 swaps are allowed here for this one here, right? So then memory fine, everything is fine. You can see it here, everything is fine. All are 95 above, 99, 98. So all are above, which means system performance is good here, right? So when you check in the our regular system here, NW1 system here, our SAP NW1 system here. So here, so let's see the training one or no. What happened? It's not the training one. Who are changing the SAP logon pad entries here? Um, I already am changing. Some people already changing to the SAP logon pad. Something like that they are changing. Okay. So this is the uh, uh, basis. And just you can see the uh now we can here we can see the versions here if we go to the st02 transaction code here you can see the tunes here we are getting more for the ca buffer here we are getting the the more swaps compared to the here so here we have the the free kb is very less so but here the hit ratio also very less here it's i think it's improved compared to the yesterday today it got improved the hit ratio got improved why because we are keep on accessing the system executing the transaction codes and everything the frequently so the frequently the accessed data the frequently accessed data is stored at here the frequently the access data stored at here so here the data is available here in the ca buffer the data is available here okay got it so this is the information about the frequently accessed data here okay so so but apart from that we have the one more transaction code is called the st03 or st03n both are same new only it's kind of workload analysis workload analysis here st03 or st03n is for the workload analysis so which means here we can examine the, we can analyze the, our workload here. We can examine the, our system workload here. If you go to the ST03 transaction code, here we can see the, the response times. Here, if you see the here, here we can see the system response times here. Load, what happened in the system? So all the information, we can see it from here, the ST03 here. We can see it all the information from here, right? So if you go to here, the so here we can see the so day wise, weekly wise, monthly wise. So last 10 minutes, 15 minutes system load, we can see it. Suppose if you see the, the Monday load, let's see the yesterday's like 24th load, we can see. So what is the uh, uh duration last 24 hours duration here right so here the mainly we need to take the dialogue response time here why because dialogue work process are here to dialogue work process are here to 
uh, to process the user request to everything right how fastly what is the response time for the dialogue response time here we can see it here how fastly how how speedily it is processing your request the average response time this is the average response time we can see it here so normally should not be more than two minutes or three four minutes i think so as per the company it's a depends upon the company actually so here we can see the how much processing time what is the cpu time what is the db time how much time spent on the db time here for this http calls there are a lot of db time is spending here so what is the wait time how much time it is waited how much time is rolling uh, wait time is uh, related to the waiting, waiting dispatcher right no, waiting for this yeah that is the wait time and the roll wait time the request coming in then after that's going out then these are the times here the main important thing is the so here dialogue average response time is the very important here this is what everybody will look this dialogue average response time here so Sir, and what is the steps or oh, 69 46 this figures how many steps they have executed step means so dialogue steps dialogue step means so one screen to other screen, other screen to another screen, how many steps they have executed. That is called the step, right? You are, I am executing one step means one transaction code. Then after that, one more transaction code. After that, one more transaction code. Then like that, how many steps they have executed and what is the average response time here, right? That is the very important here. Here, we can see it here. All the... Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes. Sorry to interrupt. Uh... Sir, uh, at one particular time, the response time would have gone high and after that, it would have gone uh, normal. In that case, for that particular uh, exact time, how to investigate what has caused the issue, sir? Let me complete this uh, one. Then you will come to know the one conclusion, how to check it out, all those things here. Right? I mean, the starting of explaining the ST03 workload analysis transaction code. So we have the lots of things are there here to discuss. So then you will come to know all those things here at what time so timelines how to check it out then uh, what causes the issue in the timeline what are the jobs are executed during that time what are the users are logged into that time you will come to know all the information okay so let me so complete the the first discussion then you can ask the the questions so here you can see the workload here if you go to the transaction profile in the transaction profile here if you go to the the standard here here you will come to know so what are the so it, it particular day we have the high response time in that high response time just if you do the filtering option here here you will come to know which one is taking the high response time here which job or which user is taking the high response time here so you got the all the details here right so based on that if you execute it you will come to know during that time who we, which is the user is executed by this background job so this background job is causing the high the dialogue response time high response time high average response time is coming by the so this user by this user here i want to know which timelines then if you go to the time profile here you will come to know the time profile here which time profile in the 9 to 10 in the 9 to 10th hour interval you are getting the highest high time here in the 9 to 10 what are the things are executed in the 9 to 10th hour then if you go to here here the main thing is average response time just filter it out here so you will get the all the in the 9 to 10 what are the top five or top 10 contributors which can which here the first one is the btc del 2 report bcc this is the consistency report this is the clearance report this is the app index calculation report then these are the things are happened here but who executed uh, the first program? two jobs are the standard job, right? For the SA, from right, SAP. Right, right, right. These two are so standard jobs. This is also standard job. This is also all are the standard jobs only. So, but this is so someone executed this one. So this is also causing the some issue. Right. So web GUI. Web GUI who are executing this web GUI. So then we can find out the all the information like this here. Whatever the so if you go to the transaction profile. You can see what are the transactions are executed by the which user and everything here. So basis user, right? Basis user, this time much of time is gone. But because we all are logging with the basis user only, that's why basis user is tracking here everywhere. 
So if you go to this one, this job is executing by where, who. So this is the user here, right? So in which hour, in the particular hour, suppose if you take the, so Sunday, let's take the Sunday. So let's take the Sunday. So what's happening in the Sunday? So in the Sunday, so there is no load, I think. So I don't see, I don't know. Yeah. So there is no load got generated. Maybe job got failure or what? Okay, okay. system, right? This NW1 system. NW1 system, so we installed on Monday only. So last Monday only we installed it. So we don't have that much of date. So we have to, we can check the today's and yesterday's load. We can check it out here. We can check this on the load. We can check it out here. So that will, okay. Here standard background jobs are not released here. Your data is not coming means because of, so, we have not released the standard background job here. There is a one job is responsible for, for collecting this data statistics and everything here. The job name is called the SAP CCMS collector performance job. So that is the job which that is collector performance job, which, which will schedule it. It will collect the all the information here the collector performance job so this should be always the standard job should be running fine here in the system so uh, let's schedule this one so let's schedule this one then you will get the the list of so jobs here So if these jobs are running, so it will do the cleanup activities in the system here, standard background job. So cleanup activities are collecting the response times, so workload analysis, so all the statistics it will be collected by the, so these jobs here. So these jobs will collect the all the information in the systems here. So that's why the standard background jobs are very important. Sometimes we may see there is no workload history. Sometimes we may get the situation like no workload history in the systems and everything here. That time we need to clearly check what's happening in the system and all the things we need to check it out here. All the things we have to check in the systems and all those things here, right? So each day, see here what is the con high contributors are consuming the issues here. So what is happening here? Let's take the monthly load here instead of daily, weekly load, right? Monthly load here. So this month load, let's if no data is visible in this. Uh, so we need to just check that job is running or not, right? Right. Okay. That job should be up and running here. So here you can see the dialogue response time here in the dialogue response time here. So, so you can see this is a monthly data. So monthly this month data only up to till date this month data only. So here. Just filter it out the descending order. You will see the top contributors here. So there is a one background job, EU reorg job, which is consuming the high response in the systems here. Lot of time it is executing high response, executing by the basis user here. So there are the lot of time it is taking here. So in which time? DB time. In the database level, it's taking time here. So you can see the DB time is very high compared to the CPU. CPU time is very less and... Uh, here, database time is 10, which means the database level, it is filtering and it is doing something, reorganization of the all the tables and everything. I think this is the job. That's why it's taking time here. So here, the main thing is the time profile and the transaction profiles are very important here. If you go to the transaction profile, it will clearly say like in which hour this job is running here, in which hour this job is running in the transaction profile which hour this is taking running here right so which hour this is running so this will tell you
so here you see uh, the the transaction profile so hourly wise the interval you can see 9 to 10 10 to 11 11 to 12 so the hourly wise we can see in which hour so in this way also we can find out in which hour our system is heavily loaded in which hour our system is heavily loaded in which hour system is very less response right means less response means very less uh, frequently using load means more users are logging to the system in which hour they are logging and when we, which hours are the peak hours which hours are the less hours here i see here oh my god four to five oh, there is a high response time what's happening here then after that let's filter it out there is four to five is the high response time here then so three to four is the the next two response time 9 to 10 so this is you can see the top five so top five ways in which which our system is the fully busy suppose if we want to plan something here any execution long running or anything apart from this this hours we can plan the remaining hours right so that so if you want to plan the one report you want to run it that is a long running report or long running job or something some extraction jobs so so that will take that's the reason every day every day night time will be the very less light time it's the very less here always night time is the very less here so that everybody will execute during the night night hours only all the jobs programs here in case of high response time got observed in the one of the day suppose example we'll see on monday we got the high response time is observed on the so one of the are got by the one of the standard report here or one of the standard report suppose like this is the vtc del 2 is is the high response okay so what is this report this is the report here right so then what it is causing the issue here right let's go to what exactly this job is for right so let's take the note here so this is the this is the report this is the job reorg jobs right so let's see when it is running what is the frequency of this job right so let's go to sm37 so why the standard job is taking very longer duration here right what is the so let's see why it is taking very long is it long running or what so how to do the analysis means this way we can check it out. Uh, so suppose we got the job. So okay. So okay, twenty second. It got cancelled. Reorg jobs. When it is going to run now? Every daily. So it's a daily. So daily it will run. So daily it will run. So that is fine daily system time 12 30 morning hours it will run but it's a us morning hours means our evening hours it will run so what's happening here so why it got cancelled here let's go and check it out system shutdown okay this is fine here we are jobs But it's not uh, the, taking that much of time. So it's finishing very quickly only. Right? 25th also it's finished very quickly. But what exactly it is doing here? If we go to the school lock. So. What maybe it's deleting the old jobs. Old jobs it is getting deleted. So this is the daily cleanup jobs. It will delete the older jobs. Older jobs, the all those jobs are getting deleted. See here, these jobs are all are got deleted. There are a lot of jobs are there here, right? So this all jobs are getting deleted. So so what is the variant it is using here currently, right? So might be a maybe sometimes we may think like variant issue also here, right? Variant issue also let's see the variant here variant is available in where in the job step here so this is the standard variant only 
like let's review the so variant here this is the deletion of the job this is the variant so what this variant is doing here no authorization only display access okay so what it is doing the jobs which are older than 14 days so this is getting deleted the the jobs which are older than the 14 days a jobs b, b priority jobs so c priority jobs all the jobs are getting deleted so which are completed status those are getting deleted the the length is 14 days this is the standard behavior this is the standard behavior so we can ignore it this one we can ignore it here so the next one what is causing the issue the next one here right so the next response time what is suppose if it is the user so what this user is doing here which report executed then is it executed in the dialogue mode or front end mode so then so maximum if the users execute any report in the dialogue mode then we may face the issues here we may face the issues issues means so in the dialogue mode we may face the issues like so uh, the system will be slow so that is the the main thing here dialogue response time here so the main thing is in the st03 we can analyze suppose yesterday it four to five system response is very bad the manager asked you to investigate it what caused the issue and all those things he asked you to investigate it then you started investigating it here then so you started investigating then you will come to know all the details like there is a some issue happened so yesterday i think 24th 24th data we got generated then we come to know that there is a high response a high response the 1490 which is so in we got it then based on that we can check the which time profile transaction profile which transactions are executed during this time in this type transactions what is the highest transactions highest response related transaction code apart from this one then this one so then so we can like this so normally in the real time we may get the users information user reports so that if we click on this user uh, this report who executed then like that we will get the user details also based on that we can find out this user is doing something in the system sometime here also we can see the user statistics also here here transaction profile to find out the what transactions where background jobs causing the issue then time profile what times and everything we can also ranking list here top response in the dialogue steps here what are the dialogue steps in the top responses here so is it a background job responses or http calls or dialogue calls or school which one is the causing the issue here so what are the top db access of the dialogue response sometimes what happens if you don't have the buffers directly it will go to the buffers and your so it will pick it will pull the data from the buffers then we can find out the what is causing the issue here so so here otherwise we can go to the user and the profile statistics here we can also see the user profiles here who are the all the users here normally everybody everything we will run it in the dialogue mode only so then basis user in this user we have the high number of response time here so we can find out something in this user related details here right so the mainly we can analyze it all the things we can analyze it for this user what are the transactions what are the reports what he executed all the information we got we will come to know in this out of the users list here so we can see it here which one is the high response he is executed the web gui spools everything we, so we can take the top 10 top 5 we can start investigating which is a standard then we can inform uh, we can raise the ticket with the sap to troubleshoot it this is the standard job this is a standard program it's taking the very high response could you please investigate it then is it because of the system issue because of the db issue because of the swaps or buffers we may face the multiple issues here right multiple things here also we can see the in which client response time and the front end the front end statistics here front end means gui statistics here so how would the, the yeah. GUI so if we face a uh, system slowness because of this so and we investigate that 
डायलॉग रिस्पॉन्स टाइम इज वेरी हाई सो वॉट एक्शन वी नीड टू डू ऑन दैट इन दैट केस सो वी नीड टू कैंसल या द डायलॉग रिस्पॉन्स टाइम इज वेरी हाई बेन्स सो so we need to check which user is causing the high response time then we can check what this user is got executed is there any report is there any job is there any transaction what he executed but sir if uh, that job is critical suppose and a user don't want to uh, cancel that job then in that case what we need to do the job is critical we user don't want to cancel means we need to continue to run we need to wait job completion of that time otherwise so we need to what the job is suppose like job is running long time so means the job is running under one of the program what is that program what is that report it is executing what that report contains how many lines in that report uh, like uh, are there any variant you have uh given filters any filter conditions you have given to finish quickly no but that variant is executing each and every table so which means whether the table what are the tables it is doing whether the tables having the any indexes primary indexes or anything any corruption is there so all the areas we need to investigate it to fix that issues all the areas all the areas we need to investigate it here front end statistics here so which one is doing what and all those things here we can see the front end statistics here right front end statistics and everything here the school statistics the response time load distance all those things mainly here in st03 we will check only for the so dialogue response time why well, because this is what we have to we need to calculate the dialogue response time and all those things we will check it out in the here that is the very important here so that is in the workload entire your sap system analysis how the once the request is coming taken care by the dialog work process then processing the that work then after the logout so how much time during the this login and logout in between how what is the response of the all your systems all the information will be all the information will be so it recorded in this response time dialog response time here this is very important for troubleshooting point of view workload analysis here right so normally we have the sheets we have the daily monitoring sheets here i will share you the daily monitoring sheets in the daily monitoring sheets we have to fill all the details why because customer will review before the business starts we have to review this all those things here then if any errors we need to fix it out this is the last 24 hours right so then sometimes customer may ask us what caused the issue and all those things then we have to inform clearly what is causing the issue and all the details we have to inform to the users so this is about the st03 next one is called the st04 right so that is the db performance related so all the db related st04 is the db performance or db0 db related transaction course will start like db01 db02 then db13 db12 then uh then so db dba cockpit so if you use this transaction code or if you use all this transaction code also fine right so this is the this four transaction code replacement of the dba cockpit dba cockpit is for the database level information db level information so suppose example if you go to one of the system okay so here so st04 it is the st04 here right st04 
so it is the db performance right so database related performance transaction code this is the db related so database related transaction code here db performance performance overview will be displayed here so uh, this is the db related thing so let's it's loading Okay. So database performance analysis is called the DB ST04 here. Here database related performance, all those things we can see it here, how many CPU server connections, the connections for the current DB here, DB startup time, DB time of the analysis, all the information. So we can see it here, which means if you go any transaction code, you will see the all these tabs system landscape performance space backup recovery configuration calendar alerts diagnosis downloads you will get the all the information so right so instead of that if you go to db01 this is the database level locks db locks normally previously we have the individual transaction code so db locks ST SAP Labs, what is the transaction code to check the SAP level lock entries? SM12. Right. So DB level, DB01. DB02, the space, database level space, history space related things here. This is the DBA, the planning calendar. Calendar here, calendar. Like DB12, the backup history all those things we can find out instead of entering in the individual transaction code here just go with the one transaction code you will get the all the tabs here right all the tabs again you got the all the tabs here so this is the db01 if you go to the db02 so space history means instead of entering one by one one by one transaction code for the specific page then you can uh, you can go for the you can go for the <clears throat> so instead of entering you can go for this one you will get the uh, space related thing here db performance st04 db02 db312 so db configuration related activities alerts right diagnosis we have the, all the options will come instead of that we can directly jump into Instead of that, you can directly go to the so DBA cockpit. DBA cockpit. <clears throat> In the DBA cockpit, you will see the all the database related details. Here you can see it here. ST0, sorry, ST03 is for the above SAP workload analysis. Then database, DBA cockpit is for the database related thing here. Here, database related information, we can see it here, right? What are the databases are connected here, configured systems, like so how many database connections are active here, right? So then DB connections monitoring. So DB planning calendar here, we can see it one by one here, right? Connections here, what are the connections are disconnected and inactive here, right? So here, we can see it here, the calendar, database planning calendar here. Calendar means we can, suppose if you want to run the backups, then you can schedule the backups by by creating the planning calendar here, by creating the, by adding the calendars, by uh, something based on that, we can do that one. So performance, performance related things, we can see it in the performance thing, ST04 tab. This is the ST04. 
so overview performance what is the performance of the database right so we can collect the some evidences yet database related evidences we can collect it like how many database process are in progress here right are there any database logs in the system or not here right so database memory status log status any database level logs here so db log history here right so then so uh, we can also see the history tab is there the sql statement collection history what are the sql statements are executed in the database level that sql statements related history we can see it here database level logs history what are the statements what are the queries are executed so all the information we can see it here the workload analysis database related if any performance issue with the database we can see it from the dba cockpit so during the hana administration time db administration topic so uh, we know like how to troubleshoot the database level issues what are the log files we will check it out apart from the tana studio or these things from here sap level also we can check that is called the dba cockpit here right so indexes performance spaces whatever we required suppose like if you want to check the how much free space is there for the database here if we go to the space overview here we can check the the space overview here right what is the total size here what is the allocated size here what is the free mb here right so then so log backup when was the full backup was recovery model full backup so all the information we have here right so in the single table analysis in the single table analysis here so in the single table in the single table analysis here so we can also analyze the what is the table size here suppose like let's take the usr 0 to table so let's see the size of this table here so right this has many users in this uh, ecp system production so you will get the history size of the table so all the information you will come to know in this facing a table analysis right so this table size is the 2 mb so data size folder size rows how many rows are there so all the information here we can see it here all the information we can see it here we can also check the largest tables largest tables in the database level which tables are the largest tables in the database level right so we can also analyze it so which means to some kind of database level analysis we can perform it using D dba cockpit dba cockpit transaction code here right so if you go to so largest table right so we need in the database level which table is the very largest table we can find out from here right and also we can also find out the fast growing tables also here here this table is the very very largest table here then pcl2 pcl4 repo src repo load these all are the table in the database level which is having the very huge size tables here right very huge size tables here here also you can check the fast growing tables we can also check the fast growing tables here fast growing means in the out of this uh, like uh, tons of table which tables are growing very fast growing means increasing the space very fast here so it will retrieve the table history so why because sometimes we may have to do this type of analysis our manager will ask you can you identify the what are the largest tables in the sap system like can you also identify that which tables are fast growing tables here right which tables are fast growing table which tables are fast growing tables here right it will give you the information so backups one other backup is completed or not configurations all the database related things here in the dba cockpit we can see it here database level if you want to go for individual you can execute the individual transaction codes you will get the same screens otherwise directly if you want to jump into the specific functionality you can use the this functionalities dba calendar right and dba planning calendar here 
So backup history, space related, daily logs, performance, monitor, workload analysis. So you can see the all the information from here, right? You will get the all the information in the system. This is the DB level. SAP level, if you want to analyze it, ST03, database level performance related issues, you can do that. So DBA cockpit here. So then what about the operating systems are? We have the three layers, right? SAP. So uh, our primer, the presentation layer, application layer, SAP layer means application, then DB layer, database. So then uh, operating system, SAP, ST03N, we can find out database level, DBA, cockpit, operating system level, what is the transaction code, ST06. Okay, that is the next transaction code here. Here you can see the which is the table is very high growing table here. Right, there is the high growing table. It is uh, means high uh, is growing very fast. This is the table. Next one is the balda table. This is expected. Sir, uh, sorry for interrupt. In these cases, what we have to do, sir, like uh, if the table is growing very fast, so then we may have to increase or we may have to if the data is not suppose like there are some cleanup tables are there. Suppose example, balda tables, spool of spool tables, these are the Job down, job. we can do the some cleanup means deletion activity. Some uh, some basis. Uh, uh, we can do the basis tables and all those things. We can do the some cleanup activities. We can perform it here in this case, right? So some tables, I think we can do some tables. So we have to do the cleanup definitely. But otherwise, we have to keep it as as is for recording purpose. Then. Uh, we need to check whether the space is getting over. Then we need to increase the spaces of the file systems. Then automatically this will store the data at file system level, right? So we need to increase the drive spaces and all those things we have to do it. Like uh, how we like uh, on what basis we can increase uh, like uh, this much uh, size we can, can increase like uh, how what basis we can increase the size? If the more it's ninety percent, it's a more. The DB space is, space is more than 90%, then we have to consider increasing the space. We have to consider increasing the space here. Why? Because so 9900%, then what will happen? Data will not be inserted into the, the database level, table level. So definitely the transactions will not be executed. So we may have the outage. So database down situation, database full situation things here. So that kind of avoid that kind of thing, we need to keep on monitoring, extending the spaces and everything. All those things we have to do it. As a threshold, if it is the more than 90%, we have to consider to increase it. So why? Because it will take two, three days time in between. It will come to the 95 or 96, then that is a day a warning status. Then we have to consider increasing the all those things and everything here. Hi, sir. Now, now are locks stored? Which locks? Uh, primary and secondary. Primary, secondary locks. So now we are discussing the database related thing. Then why the primary and secondary come into the picture? What basis you asked me this question? Like uh, no, no. Uh, okay, okay. I got it. Okay. <laughs> We are discussing about the uh, DB spaces and everything, right? Locks means in the high availability concept. Do you ask that question? Primary um, and secondary? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So the locks will be stored at the file system level. File system level in the data and the log folder level, the locks will be stored. So if it is the HANA slash HANA data slash HANA log, where we have the locks will be stored, data actual data will store in the data level so but uh, if the sql server we have the sap data one data two the other folders are there right with the varakil also data one data two folders are there in the os level at the file system level these files will be stored so for example let me show you here so here we have the sap system right where this configuration data tables are storing it means database level we know application level we can see it from this is installed on the one of the operating system here. So in this operating system also, we can see the information in this operating system also, 
we can see the information data one data two data three data four these folders are very important the logs will be stored into the yet the log segments everything will be the log folder here but we cannot read it from here what logs what tables everything only system can read these things and everything here in this data one we have the some table data two we have the some tables are there but we cannot check what is exactly here in this year only by application go to the dba cockpit you can see the the sizes of the database and everything in case of db size is pulling means so this is the this size is coming to the 100 percent here here free space is getting reduced so if you increase the this disk drive space then if you increase this one the database size also will be increased so uh the vm team operating system team so they will extend this all those things we may have to stop and start the our databases and etc here here we can check the alerts all the information we can check it out here so here see in the as part of the alerts db space we got the error which one is coming to the red here the yeah, log folder so db e drive the log folder is coming to the this space in the file it said so more than 15 gb but what is this here okay the free space check in the file level file level we have the some free there, there less space here so we got the alerts here so diagnosis log files other log files to analyze it so mainly in the dbi cockpit size of the tables history information we can check it out the all the thing here okay that is the dba cockpit information yes sir, someone yes hi sir sir where we can find the application database connection sir here in the dba cockpit can we find it here or in the OS in the connection monitor here we can see it right system connections system configurations how the application is connecting to the database here so this is the connection database so what is the host name so this is the one okay Thank so you, this, yeah is the ana or any database in the dba cockpit system connections here you can see the list of connections which are configured here it will show the information so we can also connect to the other databases also other databases also we can connect it here so like uh, suppose there is a requirement to connect to the other databases you can also connect it here that is also possible so that is the uh, integration to the other databases here <laughs> so in the dbc dbc0 db co we can add the other system databases details new entry Suppose like we have the HDB is there. So HDB on our database here. What is the user name on our database HDB? So means I am connecting to the one of the HANA database here. Which means it will not feed the data. Sometimes it may, if you need the connection, so that time we can configure it. So here system is the user. Password. Connection information. SAP Linux one. Then click on that save button here so database connection was saved here here three oh. instance number 15 just for example i am just adding the one of the hana database details here so sir, uh, in that case sir first we need to add in the db code then we need to do the connections in the db computer right sir yeah yeah by default when you are installing the connections will be Please. There is a requirement to connect to the other database from this SAP system means so we have to use the dbc0 transaction code so from there we can create the connection we can create the connection one connection we can create it here from there 
So by default, one will be there. So if you want to use this one here also, we can use it here, database. So what is the database connection, HDB? Linux one. So we have to fill the all the details actually, but that's fine. Later we can fill it out. Right. So see here, like that, I have created the one connection here. But test connection will fail. You cannot determine. So some client version that is we have to install it. Okay, that is fine. But this is the way we have to connect to the other data sources here. We have to add the connections here in the DBA. Everything, if anyone asks the database related anything, simple answer you can tell. We can say we can do it in the DBA cockpit transaction code. All those things we can do it in the DBA cockpit. Okay.